Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody emailed me or left a message on one of my videos. They're trying to make a macro to make a outline of a font thicker and maybe have a macro to do that. So this is a font. This one I converted to a curve. So if you go up here and you see it's Arial, down here the text is gone because I've converted to a curve. So this will really only work for a text under a curve. And to do a macro for this, it would be pretty cool if you do it all the time and you say if you draw everything in hairline in black, but you want your text to have an outline that's a quarter inch thick. Before you do anything, I did a couple videos last week about history. Clear your history. That's pretty important to do the macro. And then we're going to go to Windows, Dockers. Well, no, we're already... Uh, we already had history open, I'm sorry. So all you have to do is click on that and or select your font and then change the outline from a hairline to like a quarter inch. That's all you have to do. And then you could save it. And we're gonna save this outline. And you really can't, I don't think you put a point in there, but we can go to and maybe put a capital Q for quarter, two and a quarter, and press OK. Now we're going to go back up and have that just a hairline. We don't need our history anymore. But we're going to go to tools, scripts. Yours might say macros and go to macros or script. And there's your outline for a quarter. Just double click on it and it changed it to a quarter inch line. And you could have anything, any size, and you could have several macros. And like always, you can right click on this macro and sign a keyboard stroke for it. And for that, we're going to type in here right now, we're going to put new, uh, I'm going to hit alternate uh, two. Well, let me back up. Ha. Huh. Alternate two for 2.5 and hit assign. Then when I want to create that deal, all I have to do is hit alternate two and it changed it to a line. Now let's go back here and change it again. Let's make it a half inch line. To make that, we're going to have to make our font quite a bit bigger just to show you that it'll work. And so we'll open up history again under Windows, Dockers, History. Make sure you clear your history. And then we're going to change this to a half inch line. That's all you have to do, and then save it. Save it as a macro, and we're going to call it outline. I don't like caps. And we're just going to call it five. And then hit OK. So let's back up here and see if it works. We'll open up the tools, scripts, or macros, macros. And there's our outline five, and let's see if it works. And it did. There again, we can right click on it, sign it a keyboard stroke for, we're going to make it alternate five. Assign it. So if we want, let's see if it'll work on both of them. If we do this, make a duplicate of that. This one, we're going to do alternate two. This one, we're going to do alternate five. Okay. It only picked that one. I don't know why it did that, alternate five. I guess it'd only be on the one you did it on. I made a copy of it. So let's back up here. At least you could be able to see. So we only got one copy. So we're going to alternate two. And then let's try alternate five on top of it. And it did it. So you could, instead of going up here and changing it, you could have many, many line thickness. And, but just keep in mind when you're doing something like this that this you know you're gonna have to go down here and scale with object because if you're gonna make this font smaller that line's gonna get too thick now this so this would work and you could maybe even write that in the macro uh, to make the line uh, stay proportionate no matter how big you make it you still got about that same uh, size uh, outline. That's a lot of 
mistakes people make what people make is when they don't do skill with object. Let's just try it one more time, see if we can put it back to two. Nope, because it just put it on top of it and it wasn't skilled with object. I might even make a, another video say if we can't write in scale with object into the macro. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.